Now let us say we have the following alphabets. We have summation is equal to x comma y. We have summation is equal to x comma y. Okay. Now I am saying language one L one is set of all strings of length exactly two. Which I have already taken this example. So this is set of all strings of length exactly two. Therefore, the strings will be xx, comma xy, comma yx, comma yy. Okay. So this is xx, comma xy, comma yx, comma yy. That means these are all the strings which are possible over these two alphabets whose length is exactly two. Now, if I say there is a language L two, which is saying Set of all strings of length less than or equal to two. Okay. Now this can also be written as W. The length W such that length of W is less than or equal to two, where W is representing the string. Here the first language L one can also be written as W such that length of W is exactly two. Okay, so here it is saying set of all strings of length less than equal to two. So what are the strings of length less than equal to two? They will be epsilon, single x, single y, xx, xy, yx, or yy. Fine. Right? Now I am saying. We have a language L three, which is set of all even length strings. Set of all even length strings over the alphabet x comma y. Fine. Right? Then what are the strings which will be present here? So what are the even length strings? The length can be zero, right? So it will be the lengths. Lengths can be zero. Lengths can be two. Length can be four. Length can be six. Length can be eight, ten, twelve, and so on. That means we have zero, two, six, four, uh, and so on. Fine. So what are the strings of length zero? It will be epsilon. Strings of length two? It will be x, 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 y, y, x, y, y. What are strings of length four? It will be x, 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 and so on. That means. All the possible combinations. So this language will be infinite, and this language can also be written like this: W, W, such that length of W mod two can be should be congruent to zero mod two. Length of W mod two should be congruent to zero mod two. What does it mean? It means there. The string will be represented by W, and this W will be in such a way that the length of W, if we divide by two, then whatever the remainder we are we are getting, then remainder will be congruent to zero mod two, and here the remainder which we are getting is zero. So that means length of W mod two should be equivalent to zero, or you can say the even length strings, because zero mod two is zero, two mod two is zero, four mod two is zero, six mod two is Zero, but one mod two is one, three mod two is one, and five mod two is one. Here, that means we are going to get even length strings. Fine. Now let us say we have one more example, one more language. Let us say the language L four is set of all odd length strings. Strings, fine. Set of all odd length strings. So this set of all odd length strings can also be written like this: W such that length of W mod two should be congruent to one mod two. Length of W mod two should be congruent to one mod two. Fine. So what are the strings which will be present here? It will be x, y, x, x, x. X X Y, 
एक्स वाई एक्स एक्स वाई वाई एंड सो ऑन दैट मीन्स स्ट्रिंग्स विल बी ऑफ लेंथ वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन एंड सो फाइन सो दीज आर द फोर लैंग्वेजेस विच वी हैव टू फाइंड इन दिस केस फाइन नो लेट एस टेक फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस आई विल बी टेकिंग अप्रॉक्सिमेटली टेन टू फिफ्टीन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस बाय द एंड यू विल इट विल बी क्लियर टू यू वट आर द लैंग्वेजेस एंड हाउ वी आर डिफाइनिंग द लैंग्वेजेस इन मैथमेटिकल वेनर और मैथमेटिकली फाइन ओके ना लेटस से वी हैव समीशन इज इक्वल टू ए कॉमा बी दैट मीन्स वी आर डिफाइनिंग द स्ट्रिंग्स ओवर द अल्फाबेट्स ए कॉमा बी एंड द लैंग्वेज इज एल वन इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू सच दैट डब्ल्यू मॉट थ्री शुड बी कॉन्ग्रेन टू जीरो मॉट थ्री देन द सेकेंड लैंग्वेज इज एल टू विच इज W such that W mod three should be congruent to two mod three. Then let us say we have L three is equal to W. You can say W such that number of A's in the string W mod two should be congruent to zero mod two. let us suppose we have these three languages okay now in the language l1 let us see what are the strings which are present so what is this language l1 language l1 is saying every string if there is a string then it should satisfy this condition and what is this condition this condition is saying if we divide the length of a string by 3 then whatever the remainder which you are going to get That remainder should be congruent to this remainder. That means, if we divide the length of the string by three, the remainder should be zero because zero mod three is zero. Fine. So, what are the lengths will be there in that case? It will be containing length zero. It will be containing length three. It will be containing length six. It will be containing length nine, and so on. That means all the multiples of three. So, what are the strings which will be present here? So what are the strings of length three in this case? Strings of length three will be a a a a a b a b a a b b and so on. Then it will be containing strings of length six, strings of length six. Then it will be containing strings of length nine and so on. And it will also be containing strings of length zero. That means it will also be containing epsilon. Fine. now if i take this string now what does it mean it mean if you divide the length of the string by 3 then whatever the remainder you are going to get that remainder should be congruent to 2 mod 3 that means the remainder should be equal to 2 only 2 mod 3 is 2 what does it mean it mean let us suppose if we have the length 2 now if i do 2 mod 3 then we are going to get remainder as 2 if i have the length 5 if i do length 5 mod 3 then we are going to get remainder as 2 if we are going to do 8 mod 3 then we are going to get the remainder 2 if i we are going to do 11 mod 3 then we are going to get remainder 2 and so on right that means the length of the strings which will be containing here that length will be 2 5 8 11 14 and, and so on so what are the strings of length 2 strings of length 2 will be a a A B B A B B. What will be the strings of length five? Strings of length five will be A A A A A and so on. Right? Now, if I take this language, now in this language, what we are saying it is number of A in W mod two should be congruent to zero mod two. That means whatever the number of alphabet A is in in the string W, that should be uh, if I divide that length by two, then it should be equal to zero mod two. Okay, so that means if I say, what can the number of a? It can be zero, two, four, six, and so on, right? So if I say we have zero a's, then epsilon epsilon is containing zero a's, single b is containing zero a's, double b is containing zero a's, triple b is containing zero a's, four times b is containing zero a's, and so on. If we have only b's, it is containing zero a's. Fine. A part of this, we can have two a's. So 
here we have two a's 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 see here it does not matter what is the position of b or what is the position of a we are just counting what are the number of a's fine then here we have two a's here we have two a's here we have two a's and so on see it, there can be any number of b's number of a should be even number of a can be 0 2 4 6 8 and so on so these are the three examples of some of the strings which are mathematically defined okay now in the next video let us take few more examples of the strings which are mathematically defined